We're just giving some time for everybody to join, all right. All right, hello everyone. Yes, it's, it's time to start a class, but I see that you're still coming in, just coming in, so don't worry. Are you guys ready to start a class? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, welcome. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go, let's start. It's 8.06 now, so we are going to start in Okay. Ah, all right, Jose Miguel, no problem. It's okay. Oh, well, Edwin, nice. Nice to hear that. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you very much, Nelson. All right, people, let's start then the class. Uh, today we have a new topic. This is a grammar, uh, grammar topic. Uh, we want to learn about a kind of verbs that are really helpful when we are speaking or about um, something that causes a other thing does something, okay? Other thing to do something. So this will be a, a kind of challenge maybe I don't know if you have ever heard about the causative verbs as it is. Maybe you have already used them, but you don't know by the name of these kind of verbs. So today we are going to study them. Uh, we have two parts of this topic. We will be studying causative verbs today and tomorrow, okay? These causative verbs are, mm, mm, let's say, you are going to get to use to them as much as you practice as, as much. I'm sorry, as much as you practice them. All right. Okay, so let's go to our presentation and let's introduce the class. But we are going to do our feedback. We are going to do our feedback today because our feedback is needed. We are talking about branding strategy. Mm, our main topic in unit three is that, right? So um, let's go here. All right, the topic today is this one, part one of causative verbs, causative verbs. This is your class number 19. And the objective is learn, mm -hmm. to learn how to use causative verbs, uh, the first part of it. Then our agenda, 
plus 19. Oh my goodness, always one detail. Our feedback will be about effective branding components. And we have, a, we'll try to have a discussion forum. And um, like we are gonna talk about the causative verbs, what they are, how to use them, um, which are these kind of verbs. And then we have some written exercises in the breakout room. Also, we have some exercises in our manual, so we are going to be doing that. Then uh, I will assign the homework. The homework is right next to the video conference on the platform, so you know where to find it. The session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for Lo Ana Lorena. Okay, Lorena Lovato, Orijan. All right, so let's go to our feedback. In our feedback, I just want you to define what are the components here? What are the components? Remember that we have different types of branding, different types of branding. And in any branding strategy, we are going to define what we are, what we do, what we expect, what customers expect from our product. Brand values. Well, uh, the, mm, let's say the way respecting all the, um, uh, let's say values that, uh, the behaviors that customers expect from our company, right? Uh, because if we are not loyal, if we are not trustable, if we are not, if we don't say the truth, then um, we are out of values, right? We are not showing values. And everything is about the values here. In this society, and any society, everything is about the values. If you don't show good values, then maybe you are showing corruption. Maybe you are showing any other kind of bad business, right? So you have to show a trustable business. Then, so you have to define your values. Your values come uh, to, to create uh, an environment inside the organization, but also outdoors, right? Out of the organization. Uh, it, it identifies, it identifies your company. The brand identity, the brand identity is not only the name, it's our business, right? What we do, how do we do it? When do we do it? Why do we do it, right? Our brand promise, our brand promise, what's the need we are going to fulfill, right? What's the need we are going to fulfill? And also what's the main objective or the existential purpose of your company, right? The brand differentiation, well, to make different, to make the difference and the whole market. The market position, a place in the mind of the customers. They can remember, right? You are recogni uh, recognizable. And the brand experience. The brand experience is that they have any contact with our company in any way, in any moment on the PLC, on our project, right? And then the brand messaging, the brand messaging. Actually, our messages must take our seal, right? Our messages might must take our seals. All right, I explained them just to make you remember about this. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, what do you think brand definition is about? What do you think brand definition is about? Let's see, Nelson. I'm thinking. Okay. Mm, in my works. Mm, yeah, if you want to give an example, yes. Mm, it will be okay. Uh, could be, I don't know, 
the, the the vision of the company. Okay. You think that is is could be included in that stage? Exactly. Because because it's uh, the vision or the yeah the vision is uh, the reason of uh, of the company exists in this uh, market. For exactly. example. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But it's not only the vision, but the mission, right? Mission and vision, and also our values, values three, right? So yeah, that's um, brand definition about. It's about the mission. It's about the vision. It's about the values. All right. So, uh, okay. what do you think, guys? As brand identity, identity, Carlos Alberto, the brand identity. Teacher, sorry, uh, the continued is brown values. Ah, because we did it together. Uh, yeah. Mission, vision, yeah. and also the uh, the values tree, right? Uh, your chart of values, right? The document that expresses what you believe, right? We did it together, that is why. But if you want to talk about it, do you have any idea about the brown values that you want to share, husband? Osman? I think, <laughs> okay. Um, I did the moment the process, the brand, the selection, the brand, uh, is the, is the consideration that define, that define the, the brand, the, the, the company, for example, the, the slogan, the mm, color, size. In, uh, in this moment, is the seeing the, the brand values and definition and the consumer uh, identify uh, for your brand or company. Yes, exactly. Very good how people is going to recognize you, right? Uh, brand identity. Uh, your colors, your logo, your name, your brand, um, what you do, and messages of um, related to the description of what we are, right? Identity. Mm -hmm. Where, um, what are- And also reasons? distinguish uh, the, the brand in consumer minds. I think the, the distinguish that you- Exactly. Distinguish the brand in consumers' uh, minds or in your uh, what you you think about the brand always exactly that's the purpose of the brand identity that takes us to the brand differentiation right so everything goes together everything goes together the brand identity and the brand differentiation is, is a result of the brand identity right if uh, they recognize your your colors your logo your symbols or your visual elements that you use okay then uh, you are going to be different from others right and and the brand differentiation you are going to emphasize, uh, maybe the main purpose or the main feature you provide different from others, right? Yes, correct. Thank you very much, Santiago. All right. What do you think about the market position? Market position and the branding strategy. We consider market as a place, but we consider market also as people, right? Uh, target market is the people or the customers, the clients, other companies that are going to acquire a product, but also the place, the place, the distribution channels, right? All the processes, the actions we take 
to make available the product. Market position, market position. What do you think this is about? So the market position could be how the people see the brand uh, instead of any other. For example, uh, if they can say the, the brand is good because it's good quality and other is have a bad quality, they doing a, a uh, sorry, comparison. Comparison. Comparison, right. Um, can be to the process. They can compare the process in a service. All right. It's the time when people uh, evaluate, right? Evaluate what you say with what you offer. And then it's what when you get your position, right? It's then when you get your position because you are preferred from others. You are a selling your product um, toward the other ones, okay? The, it, the customers decide to buy your product instead of others. That's market position. They, your your brand is in the mind of customers, okay? You're, you are present in the life of the customer. You are present in their decisions, their uh, purchase decisions, their preferences, right? Is right. there when we have a market position? Yes. But, but, but I think, teacher, this is really, uh, it can exist if you have had a, a correctly and uh, plan and good uh, marketing and business strategy. Exactly. Then you can reach a market position and then you can, the consumer can have the perception that the brand or product is well in relation to the competing brands or products. Okay, it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you're right. Of course, that's the the market position is a result also, right? From right the it's whole the process of creating okay. and applying good strategies of okay. marketing in the beginning, okay. in the market introduction, yes. right? If you don't Correct. do a good market market introduction, yeah. maybe you are not getting a market position. You yes. can reach reach this market position, right? Okay. All right. So what about the brand messaging? Brand messaging. Lorena? What is brand messaging about? Mm -hmm. Boris? Eh, mm, tenía conectado el micrófono. Sorry. No, no, we couldn't hear <laughs> no. you. All right. Uh -huh. What's brand messaging about? Okay. I believe that is the, uh, the communication that the brand want to share with the client. All right, something like this, right? Like creating touch points, touch yes. points. They are through media, brochures, right? And the social media, through the digital marketing, yeah? The customer services also. So everything that you transmit to inform or to the, uh, make people buy your product, uh -huh, tell me. The organization, the the organization, organizations, mm -hmm. 
you send to the to the influence others to influence yes to influence that's correct mm -hmm. yes you're right how you influence in the mind of customers influence to change the the conduct to buy your product okay or to become your loyal client yes all right and what about the brand experience what about the brand experience Mm -hmm. when the company knows where where when they need to uh, improve the the products maybe okay uh when the customer know how it works or something like this more or less uh, the company knows uh, the needs uh, of the consumers need and and some of them uh, doesn't uh, complete their needs okay so, yes uh-huh uh, it's okay no, no, continue, please. Don't stop. You were okay. with your idea. Okay, uh, I get lost, but uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, when they need, when the company knows that they need uh, the product is needed about the consumers, so uh, there is running the the the, the group. I don't know if running is correct. Uh, como decir, uh, uh, Implementing? Mar Correcto. Uh -huh. Echar en marcha. Oh, okay. Yeah, running is okay and in implementing it, it is okay too. Execute, all right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you. Okay, yes. Uh, but the purpose of this component, the brand experience, is to move the customer to recommend my product. Okay, how they feel about my product using it, wearing it, consuming it, whatever the action is, that they are capable or that they are moved to recommend my product. They make it, they made it part of their own uh, experience and they transmit their experience to others. But and through through emotions or perceptions, through emotions of the, or of the brand, or, or telling, or telling. For example, uh, I rec uh, plainly, right? I recommend you use this one. Or for example, if you are a potential customer, a potential customer, for example, looking for something in the supermarket. I don't know if you have had this experience that you are looking for something and uh in your search visual search you said you are comparing prices you are comparing a, a, a let's say ingredients you are comparing sizes colors and then you say or the presentations right so you see if it is a bag if it is a bottle etc so someone running to you and tells you look i use this one because this one has this and this and this features and benefits right so they are recommending directly their experience with your product okay so this is what we want this is what we pursue with the branding components uh, mixing all these branding components okay uh start for they to recognize our brand, they to use the brand and then recommend my brand, all right? This is like in a summary what branding strategy is, okay? Are we okay so far?
Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, I see. Phew, because everybody was silent, so I'm throwing my goodness. Okay. Said, hey, what happened? I said. <laughs> uh huh. All right. So this was this was effective branding. So let's go to the to the manual. In our manual, we've got some uh, sentences uh, that we have to complete after the conversation we practiced yesterday. Okay, yesterday we practiced this conversation about uh, Andrea and Vincent talking about some shoots. Yeah. Yo creo que mejor lo voy a hacer de otra manera. Vamos a hacerlo. Así. Ok. So let's read the conversation. Eh, Osman, you are Andrea and Rafael, please uh, role play Vincent. Okay, teacher. Why this TV? I'm sorry. Why this TV A? They are selling shoes that can mess your flood, flood, like our fairer. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I would either. But the brand that delivers what is the promise make customer buy in regardless or price or price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure sure is good. Uh, because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, now you recall, right? Now you recall what this conversation was about. These shoes, expensive shoes with customers buying in a fast, right? So uh, let's complete this three statements. It says, look at the conversation and complete the sentences below. Number one. Teacher, excuse me, I have a question. Tell me. Uh, why we use makes and makes customers with S? I, I referring about they or not? Very good question. I thought you were going to ask about the causative verb, but yes, uh, this is subject verb agreement, your question. It says a brand, this is the subject, all right? A brand and the subject uh, finishes over here, okay? A brand that delivers what it promised, but the a subject is a brand, so that is why we use makes, okay? Here is not they. Uh, maybe you were looking at promises in plural, but no, a brand. A brand that delivers what it promises is the complete subject, okay? Mm. Not yet? It's like it, it makes. Exactly. Exactly, we are okay, conjugating the verb. We are we are talking about the brand. Brand makes customers buy. Exactly. Oh, okay. exactly. Thank you, mm -hmm. teacher. All right, no problem. So let's complete number one. Yeah, it, it, they, they say that. He said that. A All brand right. that, that delivers what a, it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Okay, let's refine <laughs> the pronunciation here. 
a brand that uh -huh. delivers, that delivers what, it promises. what it promises. Uh huh. Then it says makes customers makes customers buy it regardless buy it of price. Regardless of price. All right. Uh huh. Bien. Miren, yo les quiero animar porque estamos eh, haciendo un excelente trabajo eh, conociendo el concepto completo, ¿verdad? Y hemos comprendido el concepto, hemos comprendido eh, cómo se usa o en qué, cómo se define más bien. Ahora vamos a ver cómo se van usando, ¿ok? Cómo los vamos aplicando. Entonces, quisiera animarlos a eh, tomar, digamos, como un poquito así de, 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 de más conciencia en el sentido de eh, leer completo. O sea, no leamos solo la respuesta porque entonces perdemos la oportunidad de practicar toda la idea, ¿verdad? Entonces, estamos, acuérdense que son cuatro skills. Son el listening, el... Writing, el, eh, reading y Brava. el más importante es speaking, ¿verdad? En reading, writing tenemos grammar, ¿verdad? En el listening tenemos pronunciation, en el speaking tenemos pronunciation and phonics. Entonces, no perdamos el, el, la oportunidad de practicar las cuatro skills y más cuando lo hacemos combinado, ¿verdad? Entonces yo con, eh, yo los he visto que han avanzado un montón, pero me gustaría escucharlos con, por ejemplo, si yo pregunto así, ¿verdad? No, number one, me lean completa toda la frase, ¿ok? Y bueno, si hay algo, algo que corregir o algo, pues yo con gusto voy a estar corrigiendo, ¿ok? ¿Estamos bien así? De acuerdo. I agree. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Guys. Thank you. So now let's go to number two. They get all these people to buy their shoes. Okay. Very good. And let's read number three, and you can tell me what do you think, if you agree or if you, or if you don't agree. Do you agree with the first statement? The first statement, this one, number one. Do you agree with the first statement? Yes, I agree, teacher. Okay, can because, you tell us why? Uh, because when I buy, um a brand and it give me uh, that it's promise i feel better i i feel so good and the other people say me wow you bought a brand so good and it's 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 like for me Okay, so you recommend the brand because your experience was good and you don't care about paying a high price to get your comfortability, for example, to get durability, other uh, aspects of the product, right? Okay, right. What do you, okay, thank you, Kevin. What do you think? Lorena, I don't see anybody here. Okay, Kevin, Santiago, uh, Lorena, you're there. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, repeat the question, please. This one, do you agree with the first statement, this statement, a brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy regardless of price? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean regardless? Regardless, sin importar. Um, um, uh, 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 uh. Uh, maybe yes. Uh, uh, 
if it is a product that really I like, yes. Hmm? For me, it's not important the price. All right. And what makes you buy that product? Uh, repeat, please. What makes you buy that product with a high price? Um, I don't understand, teacher. <laughs> Okay. It's for example, the design. Uh -huh. It's for the it's for the quality. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. The design, the brand. Uh huh. The color. Okay. The... So let's go to this statement. It says, um, "A brand that delivers what it promises. What it promises. What does a brand promise to you?" when offering a product to you? What are they offering? What are they promising? Durability. Durability. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quality. 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 Uh, uh, function, function, functionation. Functionality. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, in general, it could be the, uh, the, the performance. The exactly. Performance. The performance of the product, right? Of the product, because it has been created with a purpose. And what is the purpose? Mm, it could be to fulfill your need of emotionally prestige, right? Or maybe just uh, the need of making calls, for example, if it is a cell phone, or just the need of being communicated. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe if you are a businessman or a businesswoman, you will need some features and they are offering those features in that device that you are buying or you're acquiring. So that's what they are promising in their product. Quality, durability, functionality, the quality video. long lasting. Mm -hmm. Quality video. Okay, if it is a cell phone, exactly. You are looking for a good camera, right? You are looking for a good features of the RAM or storage, right? Of the of the product. So yes, the video, how to take, how the pictures. Um, let's say, how does it take the pictures, right? Or I don't know the quality, the advantages of this product. All right, but this is the situation. Do you agree that a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price? For example, I would like to get a Samsung Note, I don't know, 11 is now? I, I don't remember the number. All right, the, the newest, right? The newest, but I won't buy it until it uh, low, lower the price. Mm, that's my opinion. Even though Samsung is a very good brand, but I can get another that, uh, that fulfill my needs too, okay? So what makes customers buy something regardless of price? In this case, they are saying that it's a brand that delivers what it promised. Okay, somebody wants to add something? Hosman? Oh, Boris, okay, Boris and then Hosman. Do you agree? Uh -uh. Que si, quieren, eh. si quisieran agregar algo más a esto y si están de acuerdo con esa, con esa oración que está en la primera oración acá. I, I, I agree. I agree. Agree. Okay. You agree. All right. Hosman. Yes, teacher. I agree the, the, the discussion. Okay. Rafael. Do you agree, Rafael? Sorry, teacher. 
What is the question? The question is, do you agree with the first statement, with this one, if you agree with number one? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I like the, the products be, uh, made, who made uh, very well. And, and I don't care how much the, the price, mm -hmm. if the product uh, resists the time, uh, um, but I, I think uh, there are a limit. There is. Uh -huh, yes. A limit of the price. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. All right. So you have like your standards. Maybe it's related to budget? Sorry? Se relaciona eso con su presupuesto, right? With your budget. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Exactly. Okay, go to the chat and check the, the first sentence you said. Will be better if you say, I like products well made. Well made. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or I could say, I like well made products and it will be okay. Okay. All right. Okay, people. So let's go to these other parts. Because there we have some sentences, very interesting sentences that we want to study. Okay. I'll take you back to the conversation and let's read the, um, the phrases in bold. Make you flop makes customers buy. Get all these people to buy. So what idea do you receive or do you mm, translate in action when you hear this, make you float, makes customers buy, get all these people to buy. Como qué idea les da eso? Digamos, si alguien les comenta eso, ¿qué se entiende? ¿Qué se comprende ahí? Este verbo que está acá, miren, este verbo que está al inicio de estas que están en negrita, están haciendo la función de un verbo causativo, una causal, ¿ok? Un verbo causal. What is a causative verb? What is a causative verb? Okay, let's go is, to... Is the, is the, is the sens, sens, mm -hmm. sensation... Is the sensation uh, fly in the... I, I, I sorry, mm -hmm. how do you say... Cielo and the sky, fly, fly in the sky. Ah, oh, okay. Well, actually, that's the translation into Spanish or into English. It will be the same, right? Float is flotar, right? It could be in the air or in the water. <laughs> you float in the water, you float in the air. All right, but listen, it's not about the meaning that it has. Okay, it's about what the meaning of the whole action, okay? The complete action is un verbo que expresa or the describes, describe como algo o alguien causa la acción de otro o de otra. Ok, de otra cosa o de otra persona. Entonces, estamos hablando de verbos causales. Son verbos que nos ayudan a expresar que una cosa causa la otra. O que la acción en sí es un resultado de que alguien la ocasiona. Ok, entonces vamos a ver esto ya en una forma más visual, ¿verdad? This is easy. Esto es fácil, 
pero necesita un poquito de práctica. ¿sí? Ya lo usamos. We use it. We know how to use it, maybe, but sometimes we need just to visualize it, okay? The causative verbs are the verbs that describe how someone or something causes the action of someone or something else. And these verbs are a lot, are many verbs, but the five more common are get, make, have, let, and help, okay? Get, make, have, let, help. You can have someone do something and you can have something done, all right? So we are going to divide this topic into parts because we want to see the active action or the active causative verbs and the passive causative verbs. Right now we are going to see the active causative verbs even though we are going to mix just a little bit with the passive ones. All right. We have get, make, have, let, and help. Each one has a meaning in this case. Get has, uh, we could say infinity, infinite, um, infinite meanings. But in this case, get means to um, make someone do something, okay? So make is going to be like force, all right? Like force. Have is going to be like an order, all right? Let is going to be like a permission or allowing to someone to do something. And help is that, collaborate to um, contribute, okay? Ayudar a algo, okay. Let's look at some examples. For example, we have let, that the meaning of this verb is allow or permit, right? Allow or permit. And we have some examples here. Let's look at the structure we are using. Let's look at the structure. We are not using allow, we are not using permit. This is the meaning, okay, of let. But allow and permit are also causative, are also causative, but they have a different, a different um, a structure. Let's look at this one. Let them hunt potential customers creatively, okay? Let them hunt potential customers creatively. So if you see, we are saying permit to them, right? Let them hunt potential customers. So you may go, you may go and do the action of convincing people to buy your product in a very creative way, all right? This is what we are saying here. So, who is going to cause this? They, the company, the sales team, whoever, because it's not mentioned. But sometimes we have the subject, the subject that who is causing the other action, okay? For example, in this self promotion, the seller subject lets the customer choose, okay? In this sell promotion, the seller lets, look, lets, it's conjugated because of the subject, the seller lets the customer choose. Okay, let's look at the other one. The price subject lets, the verb permits, right? Allows, lets customers, and look what's the action that the price is causing? Buy more items. If the price is low, maybe customers are going to buy some more items. Not only 
one item, but maybe a different kind of item, okay? Uh, extra. Maybe they haven't thought about buying something and they buy it because of the prices. All right, so the price lets customers buy more items. All right, let's look about the branding strategy expression we've got here. Branding strategy, let customers know your values and what they can expect from your brand. From, okay. Branding strategy, let customers, mm -hmm. what is permitting the customers know your values, your branding strategy, okay? Branding strategy, branding strategy is your subject. Then you have your causative let. Then you have the object who is going to perform the action. What action? Know your values and know what they can expect from your brand. Are we okay? Are you following? Are you following this? Yes. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, thank you. So let's go and check this other one. For example, the verb make. The verb make. Mm, it has the meaning of force, okay? And force is another causative verb because you force someone to do something, right? Or you force something uh, to obtain a result, any expected result. So make it's the meaning of force, but also is the meaning of do, okay? También es el significado hacer como tal, como él significa, make, okay? Make can be both, can be hacer, can be force, all right? For example, you make me happy, guys. You make me happy, all right? You make me happy. So the object here, it's you to us. Me. You oh, to great. us. Great. Uh-huh. So you've got to say like this one, Santiago. You makes, I'm oh, sorry, make us happy too. Okay. Too. You make right. us happy too. Mm -hmm. You make us happy too. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we are going to use the object pronouns. Okay. Because we need an object here. After the causative verb, we need the object, okay? They need the object to um, uh, show who is going to perform the action. So let's remember the object pronouns. Do you remember the object pronouns? Oops. Star piece. Mm -hmm. Me. Me. Exactly. You. Me. You. Okay. The Care. personal is I. Right? I. Me. Mm -hmm. Me. You, you will be you. 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 Mm -hmm. And for he. 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 His. 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 Uh, no. Will be him. 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 Okay. him. Yes. And she. Her. 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 Yes. Her. And for we. Us. 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 Miren, la pronunciación de este hay que tener también el cuidado, ¿verdad? Porque este es como una U. Uh, cuando pronunciamos up, usen up cuando vean una U como esta, ¿ok? Para poder poner la boca igual, porque es más fácil vocalizar up, ¿verdad? Que otra us. palabra, right? Up, us. Miren. Up us, up us. It's the same. Uh, it's the same sound. Okay, we will be us. Uh -huh. Now they. they will be them. Them. Okay, these are the object pronouns. Okay, and for it is it. That is the name. The pronoun. That is the it. Object pronouns. Okay. These are object pronouns. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Object pronouns goes after the verb, right? The object pronoun goes after the verb because it's an object. Right? It's the one who receives the action. 
of the verb. So these are the object pronouns. These are the pronouns that we are going to use after the causative, okay? For example, you make me happy. Uh, you make us happy too. So for example, I'm not going to say you make happy to me. No, that's incorrect. We've got to say you make me happy. You make us happy too. All right, my mom made me do homework when I was a child, right? My mom made me do homework when I was a child. So I can use in any tense, the causative verbs, okay? In any tense, my mom made me do homework when I was a child. Hmm. Just... My, mm -hmm. Tell me. Sorry, uh, I had a question with the first sentences um, where it says, uh, you make us happy too. Uh, it's allowed, is it allowed uh, to say, you make us happy also? Yes, you can say also because they have the same meaning. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you make us happy as well? Mm, okay, but that sounds kind of formal, kind of, uh, yeah, polite? formal. No, not exactly polite. Maybe I would say too formal, yeah, too formal. But it is okay. It means the same, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. All right. So we were in my friends, right? My friends made me keep going. My friends make me keep going, okay? It's because of them that I can keep going. They push me, right? They encourage me. So this is the way to express that. My friends make me keep going, yeah? Let's read this other one. The voters, the voters make politicians keep their campaign promises. The voters make politicians keep their campaign promises, okay? Politicians is the object, look. Politicians is the object. And obviously it's going to be the one who performs the action, okay? The one who performs the action. So let's continue with the other verb, have. This is when you order something to someone or um, translating into Spanish, it will be mandar a ser, mandar a, okay? Something like that. Uh, it's not a bad thing, okay? This is not a bad thing like bossy, no, or noisy, mm -mm. annoying, mm -mm. This is that you are expressing what you had done, what, I'm sorry, what you had someone uh, do for you, okay? So for example, we could also use order as a causative verb too, okay? I order him to come, I order him to write the messages, right? So whatever I wanna say, Order is also a causative verb. So this is what, I'm what I was explaining at the beginning, that the causative verbs is not about exactly what the verb is, but what it means in the action, right? And you will have that reaction by doing the action or but who is doing the action. All right, in this case, let's look at this. It says, I'll have, my secretary arrange it. Look at the last one first, because this is in the present tense, okay? Uh, this is not the present tense. This is a um, future, okay? So I can use have in any tense and don't get confused because we have in the past tense, I had, okay? I had the electrician look at my broken light, okay? I had the electrician look at my broken light. 
Y esto en español quizás lo podemos entender de una manera con el ejemplo básico, ¿verdad? Que nosotros le decimos a alguien, fíjate que hoy me corté el pelo. No, te lo cortaste, no te lo cortaste tú, fuiste que te lo cortaran, ¿ok? Te, tú viste a alguien que te lo cortó, hizo esa actividad por ti. Eso es lo que estamos expresando acá, ¿ok? I had the electrician look at my broken light, ¿ok? Si yo le digo, ya arreglé la luz que estaba quebrada, no, no lo hiciste tú, lo hizo el electricista, right? So, I had the electrician look at my broken light. So, the doctor will have the nurse call the patient. The doctor will have the nurse call the patient. So, <clears throat> the nurse is going to do the action um, for the doctor. Okay, for the doctor. Then the teacher had the students write the answers on the whiteboard, okay? Sometimes we could say also the teacher made the students write the answers on the board, right? So you can, it depends. It depends on what you want to say. So let's continue here. Okay, how was the last one, right, right, right? Because they were only five. They were only five. All right. The structure. What about the structure here? I want to show you something. Se me extravió. Ok. Liberada voy a ver cómo es fácil. Okay, the structure of the sentences when we use active causative verbs, okay? This is active. Active means that you conjugate in the same tenses and you are not using the passive voice, all right? So subject goes first. Look, marketing will be subject. The causative, what's the causative? Helps, right? Then we have the object. What is the object? Customers, right? Customers. We need the causative over here. I said this is the causative. Uh, this is the causative and then we have the action. The action will be this one, right? There you go. Uh, I'm sorry, the object is this one and then we have the verb that in result, right? The action resultant. And then we have the complement, all right? The complement. And remember that after one of those verbs goes to or, and with some of these verbs, it's not necessary, okay? It's not necessary, the particle to, but with others, it is, all right? For example, I said, with, make, with have, we don't use to. With help, we don't use to usually. There are some times that it's up to you if you use it or not with help, it's optional. 
and sometimes. But for example, with get, with get we use uh, the particle to, okay? With the others that we saw, like permit, allow, and what order, I don't remember right now the other ones that I mentioned, but they need to. So for example, in the first one, if we follow this structure, it will be marketing helps businesses, and then I have to use get and buy, okay? Am I going to use to or not? Mm -hmm. Get. I'm sorry? Get. Yes, it could be only get when it is not a purpose, when it is not a purpose, all right? So, and here it is a purpose, right? So we could say marketing help businesses to get. Okay, to get. In this case, it's a purpose. That is why we need two. All right. And then customers and the other is to buy. Okay, here we need, we need the particle two. Marketing helps businesses to, to get customers to buy products. All right. Now, the next one, it says, we can't, and then we have make and like, right? Make is the causative. Mm -hmm. Like. No, no, the causative will be make. Mm -hmm. Make. And then we say people. Make doesn't require you to use two, okay? So, like, all right? We can't make people like our products without the right strategy, okay? If we don't have the right strategy, it's not possible that our products likes, our products like to the people, right? Okay, then, next one. To get the causative is get the causative. Aquí en este de arriba, en la primera, no es un causative. Okay. En esta, el causative fue helps. Okay. En este, nada más estamos viendo el que va después. Si llevaba el to o no llevaba el to. En este, si necesitamos el causative, uno de estos dos sería get. They're loyal customers. Ahora, veamos por acá cuál sería la combinación help. To help, all right? Con get, usualmente vamos a usar to con el siguiente verbo, ¿ok? Con el verbo resultante o la acción que queremos que se haga, ¿verdad? <clears throat> o que alguien está haciendo por otra persona. So let's say the marketing director makes, right? Makes is el causative. Yeah. People is nuestro object. Mm -hmm. Vote. Con makes, no usamos el to. All right? Miren, make, like. Makes because it's he or she. It depends, right? Top businesses, plural. This is subject, okay? This is a subject. Top businesses. Hmm? Now the causative. Make. Make. Okay, like this one, right? Because yes. it's plural. Top business make. Make, very good. They are employees. Take, okay, this other verb, 
take. Why? Because with make, we don't use to. All right. Mm. Okay, I will share with you. Oh no, before, uh, before getting this in another exercise, let's go to read the grammar box we have in our manual. Ahí está como más visual, okay? Y ahí tenemos dos estructuras. There we have two structures, okay? Porque estamos viendo dos verbos ahí nada más, ¿sí? El verbo make y el verbo get como causatives. Para hacer la diferencia entre cuál sí lleva to y cuál no lleva to en el siguiente verbo. ¿Ok? Vale, vamos a ver entonces. Page 28. Page 28. Let's look at the first structure. Make plus someone or the object plus verb and base form. And we have the verb get plus someone plus the infinitive. With get, we use the infinitive with the particle to. With make, we don't use to. We, do, we use just the verb in the base form. All right, so it will be. The marketing department makes employees revise goals and metrics every month. Okay. The next one. Who wants to read the next one? The poor identify of the brand made people look or look for products from different companies. Okay, the poor identity. Yeah. Identity, sorry. No problem. The poor identity of the brand made, right? Good. Mm -hmm. Y veamos el siguiente verbo era look. En realidad, ¿qué es lo que estamos buscando? Que la gente mire. ¿Quién lo va a hacer? La, eh, una buena identidad, right? Eso lo vamos a lograr con una buena identidad. Si fuera el contrario... Una pobre identidad de la marca hace que la gente mire productos diferentes a, nuestra, a los de nuestra compañía, ¿verdad? The poor identity of the brand made people look for products from different companies. All right. Thank you very much, Rafael. Now, who wants to read the other one? Okay. The brand experience offered by Samsung make consumers prefer their mobile phones. Okay, consumers, right? Consumers. consumers. Uh -huh. consumers. The brand experience offered by Samsung, so offered by Samsung. Made, made it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what tense this is. It's going to take the same structure. Okay. Made consumers. Consumers. Yes. Prefer their mm -hmm. mobile phones. Exactly. So it's present tense. Verb in the, the base form, look, prefer. Even though here I'm using uh, another tense to express a, when the action happened, right? To express, uh, to place the action in, the, in time. So let's read about get plus someone plus infinitive examples. Um, let's see. Okay, please go ahead. I can get customers to love our premium service. The project okay. manager said it, it is not possible to get all those customers to feel identified with the brand in a, in a short time. The advertising events will get people to order products online more often. All right. So if you see here, we use the infinitive with the Word two, get customers to love, 
all right? Get all those customers to fill. Get people to order, okay? So let's go to do our written exercises right there on page 28. Please join your rooms. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, Nelson. Ah, me acaban de hablar, teacher. Estoy en. Oh, en you're hotel. working. Sí. Okay, but join and listen to your uh, classmates. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, can you see the picture? In the WhatsApp group? Yeah. Yes. Uh, anyone? Nelson? Uh, Nelson will be as a listener right now, okay? Oh, wow. so right now it's only you and Edwin, all right? Okay, perfect. Um, start with the first. Um, customer citation makes companies try every sort of strategy. Oh, okay, I see. Nelson, uh, Edwin. The, I think yeah I, I I told you about the second one marketing helps business get customers to buy products are you agree let me see let me see and the third is we can make people like our products without the right strategy. OK. 
because with get, uh, you write infinity, plus infinity. On the four is online stores, get is plural, the loyal customers to help with advertising events. About the right. Ah, se me escondió. Espérame. Está de rebelde. Okay. Para Rafael, in the two sentence, um, we, I think that we need to put only get. With, only get? Yeah, without two. But I'm not sure. And buy with two, to buy, customers to buy. Mm. Okay. If, if you want, we can see the, the page number 28. And there is an example. Yes, you're right. Uh, okay. In the, in the three, in the third center sentence, can make make uh, people we can like make people like like or. Like people like like we can make people like or products without the right strategy. Sí. Well, eh, why we put bueno, la primera ya está completa pero mm, porque pusimos makes makes en la primera, saben o sea, ah, es que la primera es ejemplo sí, uh -huh. pero porque le pone makes y no make because a customer is, the... is a plural I don't know Attention. Attention. Or attention is a third person. Ah, es que está hablando de la atención, creo. La atención sí. es el sujeto. Y como es tercera persona, lleva S. Ok, S. ok, ya entiendo. Thank you very thank, much. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Um, teacher is here? Yes. <laughs> ah. It's hide. Or yes. online, online stores. Online stores. Gets. gets. Only oh. stores get. With S. I think it's get. Get with without S. Yes, because stores is a plural. Stores. Plural, yes. Get their loyal customers. Uh, the verb. Their loyal be, customer to help. To help. Yes, it's infinitive. To help. With advertising events. Yes. Uh, what happened with the five? The marketing makes, director. The, the marketing director makes. Yes. 
makes people um boat 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 yes makes people boat for the bay the bets the best odds okay I'll probably have to my tongue. Top business. Top business uh, may make uh -huh, make their employees take constant trainings or marketing. Are you agree? Um, I don't know. The business. Do you agree? Uh, I don't know. I agree. I, I. It's a uh, two business. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Agree. Agree. Yeah, we, with make and with. Okay. Now we know that when we use make as a causative, we are going to use the base form of the verb. And when we use the get causative, then we're going to use to as the action resultant, right? Okay. <clears throat> the action we want someone does. A ver, ¿cómo les quedó la primera? The first, uh, or the second? The second one, because the first one was just an example, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the second will be marketing helps business mm -hmm. get customers buy products. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is the example where you will see that the, um, um, and let's say we have two causatives. We have two causatives, right? We have marketing helps, okay? Marketing helps businesses get customers to buy products. We, sh we could be confused that the causative here is get, but the causative here is help, all right? 
The causative in this one is help. We didn't see any example with help, but what I said is that when you use help as a causative, you may use it or not, okay? You, it's optional, it's optional. So it is okay if you say helps, uh, I'm sorry, businesses, let me, let me read it again. Where was it, where was it? Aha, uh -huh. marketing, right? Marketing helps, mm -hmm. helps is the causative. Helps is the causative here, okay? Then businesses, ahí podría ser to get perfectamente o podría no usar el to. Es opcional cuando yo uso el verbo help como causative, okay? Eh, si usted dice helps businesses to get, it's okay. And if you say helps businesses get customers, it is okay too, all right? But the last one, yes, of course it is to buy, okay? That's to buy, why? Because get is right there before. Get customers to buy, all right? Next one, number three. We can, we can make people like our products without the right strategy. 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 Okay. Make and like, right? Because with make, make and like, mm -hmm, yes, we don't use two. All right. Number four. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Number four? Yes, this is uh, number four. Maybe uh, online stores get the loyal customer uh, to help with advertising events. Very good. Yes, that's correct. Number five? Salvador, number five? I had a question with number four. Mm -hmm. It could be a online store uh, let the royal customer to help. It could be so. Yeah, it could. It could perfectly, but not to help, just help, right? Let their loyal customers help. Yes. And it sounds good. Mm -hmm. Teacher, well. Number uh, number five, please, Salvador. Five. The marketing director makes people vote for the best ad. Okay, very good. So makes and base form of vote, right? Vote. Makes people the object and then vote. Very good. Thank you very much, Salvador. And with the number four, eh, Will, eh, ahí usted podría tener quizás un leve, una leve variación de significado si le pone let, ¿ok? Eh, porque get es como obtener en este caso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O eh, obtener de parte de, digamos, del objeto. Eh, la ayuda. Entonces, ahí sí sería, si yo le digo let, sería permitirles. Ok, sí, hay una pequeña variación de significado, ¿sí? Yeah. Entonces, es get. Yeah. Yes, get. Get is um, the closest in the meaning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. 
Number six. Number six. Osman. Okay. The marketing director makes people vote for the best ads. Number six, two, please. Hello. Osman, number six. Hello, teacher. Hi, can you hear me? Osman, here we are. Se le desconectó tal vez el, el, el audífono, ¿verdad? A ver, escribámosle a Osman. I forgot, and I wrote it in okay. the Spanish. Hosman? I can read the six if you want, and we can get. All right, no problem, no problem. Yeah. Top, top, in, top business make the employees uh, take constant training on marketing. Okay, okay, let's see. Exactly, right? Because take, in this case, is after make, so yeah, the action resultant. Hello, Hello Husman, here Hello. we are. Sorry, problem connection. Yeah, no problem, Good it's okay. Hello. Okay. It's okay, thank you very much, Husman. Okay. All right, so now I will give you, uh, I will share a link with you. Mm. And this link, we are going to... Teacher. Tell me. Don't forget, call the rule. Oh, I forgot. Oh, my goodness. Yes. You're right. Is it okay if we do it at 9.50? For us to do this activity? Yes, it's okay. All right. You can do it. Okay. okay. Don't forget. Please don't forget. Yeah, please remind me. Please remind me. All right. Okay, here it is, the link. This is a listening activity. And it has a PDF that you can download, all right? You can download the PDF right there. And you play the audio and you complete the sentences right be below the picture, okay? En ese ejercicio, quiero que vean que existe otra forma aparte de la que hemos aprendido ahorita. Ahorita lo aprendimos en una forma activa. ¿okay? Activa, ¿qué quiere decir? De que el mismo está haciendo la acción, ¿verdad? El, el objeto es el que está haciendo, eh, el sujeto realiza la acción para alguien, ¿sí? Entonces, o alguien causa la acción del otro. Algo causa la acción del otro. Pero existe la otra manera con el pasado participio del verbo. ¿Ok? Existe la otra con el pasado participio del verbo. ¿Qué pasó, Nelson? What happened? How come? What the mean? Oh. I'm sorry, Boris. Bro, bro. Brought them in. Why? I grammatic is difficult. It's very difficult. 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 Yeah, but I don't think, think about this like grammar. So ah. <laughs> don't think about this like grammar, okay? Think about this as expressions, okay? As expressions. And remember, let's 
eh, lo traté de hacer así como bien agrupado con los cinco verbos que son más comunes y luego de los cinco les desprendí los otros que son prácticamente el significado de los mismos, pero que tienen otra estructura, ¿ok? Entonces, vamos así paso a paso, no se abrumen, no se abrumen que esto, al fin de cuentas, ustedes van a decir, y eso era, teacher, y cómo nos costó, vea, pero no, mire, teacher, y ahora, revés y derecho, vea. Excuse no. me, we are, we are right now in this causative verb exercise and worksheets. Yes, you can download okay. it as a PDF. Uh -huh. I can make install. Is here? I can install. Or work. How can load that? How can I download? Download. Uh, you just uh, it says download here, right below the PDF. I mean the the image right there. Thing is that this is an external. Uh, it's an external resource. So I cannot okay. show it right here because we can yeah, get see. YouTube okay. to down our our video. So this but is what? What, what what we want download the, the 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 video. No, this is not a video. This is an audio. Okay, this is an audio. So play the audio. Scroll down, and you are going to find a line with the play symbol or the play icon. So go ah, and click. PDF, video MP4. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. ah, that's correct. I see. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can okay. you can see it in the video, but it is okay if you just listen to it and see the pictures first, and then you see the video. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm, yeah. How's it going? Is it okay if I uh, uh, call the roll right now while you are doing this exercise? Don't see. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which one? Which one are you solving? What number are you in? Boris.
Okay, people, I will call the roll. So please say present when I call your name and um, please the requirement from Instagram is that you to uh, turn your camera on, okay? Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Ok. Boris Alexander Cortés Cáceres. I'm here teacher. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto eh, Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Eulice Torres Torres. Oh, he's a listener. All right. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. José Miguel Torres Hernández. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Josman Atilio Serrano. Present teacher. Karen Lizette Sánchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Okay. Eh, Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Present teacher. Right. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. I'm here teacher. Okay. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Here yeah, teacher. Wilber Alberto Perez Mendez. Present. All right. Okay, people, what did you notice in the Teacher. exercise? I'm sorry? Salvador, present. Oh, thank you, Salvador. Oh, all right, no problem. Thank you very much. Okay, then, what did you notice in the structure you listened to? ¿Qué notaron en esa, en esa otra estructura? Can you give me an example? Una de las que agarraron, vaya, la que sí agarraron. I, I heard the mayoría. Mm -hmm. The majority? I heard majority was talking about the present perfect. I don't present know, perfect? Yeah. Actually, yeah. seems like present perfect because you are maybe listening the verb have with the past participle form of the verb. But this is not present perfect. This is a passive voice. And in a passive voice, we use, for example, the be verb with the... Um, uh, with the causative and then the past participle verb form. So tomorrow we are going to see this uh, very detailed, but if you heard the first one, I am having my height measured, right? I am having my height measured. Oh my God, it's, she says, I'm growing. So I am having, have is the causative. And the object was um, my height. And it has been measured, measured medida, okay? So tomorrow we are gonna see this uh, in a very detailed form, okay? This is what this is going, um, I'm sorry, this is what it's going to be our next class. But I, I have the third, I, I, I got it, the third, I got it perfectly. All right, great. I and think, what about the second? The second, the second is, oh my God. 
I have my, I don't know what, dye, but it's the wrong color. My hair, my hair dyed. Mm -hmm. my, ah, my hair dyed. Oh, yes. Dyed, yeah. no muerto, sino que dyed, teñido, okay? Me teñí el pelo. Mm -hmm. Dye, yeah. O fui a que me lo, me lo pintaron, pues, ¿verdad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the third, I got the, the wrong color. Yeah, yeah, wrong. In the third is I have very stressful job, so mm -hmm. I need to get my blood pressure check. My blood pressure check. Ah, okay. My blood. My yeah, uh, my open blood. your mouth and say blood. Yeah, my blood, blood pressure. My blood pressure check. La presión arterial, ya, ya. Check. My blood pressure check. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ese es como, fui a que me tomaran la presión, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Fui, uh, something like this. All right. O tuve la presión medida, ya, yeah, o tomada, revisada, uh -huh. whatever, right? We say taken in Spanish, decimos tomar, ¿verdad? En vez de chequear. Ok. Now, yo creo que se van a divertir si les paso un link. A ver, así. Para los que no se quieran ir a dormir todavía. Los que se han quedado pensando, ¿y esto cómo es? Ok, vamos a ver. Solo déjenme abrirlo bien. Y aquí está. Lo vemos mañana ya cómo se resuelve, ¿sí? This is active. Este ya no es como el que acabo de mostrarles, ¿ok? Con ese iba a terminar con el, con el que les mostré. Por eso no les había mostrado este porque pensé no daba más tiempo. Pero los metí de un solo al passive, ¿ok? Ahora sí ya van bien entonados con los causatives, ¿verdad? Ahorita van a poner a todos a hacer algo, ¿sí? <laughs> okay. How do you feel tonight? I see this like this class like this. Oh my goodness, what what is this? No, don't worry. This is easy, all right? This is easy. Just uh take the clues. Okay, solo vayan yes. agarrando las pistas. Yes, just like you said, teacher, in, in the beginning, we we use the these verbs, but uh, grammatically we uh, we don't know where, uh, the structure or the indication, the rules. Exactly, but we are all we are using them now. We we, uh, I mean the practice made us use these verbs, right? The practice made us because we were needing to express this and imitating your teacher, imitating anything, that anybody you hear in the movies, you understand the idea, you know what this is about, but now we are seeing this uh, detail, right? In detail. All right, people, so it's 10. So time is up. So, Lorena, are you going to stay with me? Your 10 minutes of fame? Lorena, oh, she's just a listener now. Maybe uh -huh. uh, can the next week. Me quedaron los tamalitos de gallina que le tenía la niña Lore y yo. <laughs> okay, all right, no problem. Ya está con chocolatillo caliente. <laughs> Es bien sabroso. Con... Miren, y a ustedes les gusta el tamalito con tortilla tostada. No lo han probado así bien. Bueno, sabe, fíjense, masa con masa, pero es sumamente delicioso. Bueno, well, I like it. I like it. <ríe> ya van a ir a tostar una tortilla si tienen tamal, ¿verdad? Ok. Well, people, thank you very much for being here. If is there anyone who wants to stay the 10 minutes after the class your, uh, as a session one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you're welcome to, all right? You're welcome to. Who wants to? 
Kevin, do you want? No. <laughs> okay. No, bye. <laughs> I was very happy someone uh, was going to eat the tamalitos. <laughs> All right, no problem. Bye, teacher. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Do your homework. Do your homework, guys, please. Good night. Good up to date the platform. Bye-bye. Good night. Rafael, are you staying? Good night, teacher. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. Double tamalitos for me. All right. <laughs> All right, people, thank you very much for being here. Ah, oh, do you want to stay, Carlos Alberto? Yes, teacher. All right, tell me, how can I assist you? Yo estaba pendiente. Oh, okay. It's okay, no problem. Let's start session one on one. How can I assist you? Do you have any question that we that you need any help with? Mm, no, teacher. Okay, uh, did you do your homework? Let me check your um, your profile right here. Uh, yes, teacher, I, I opened right. the, the, the link. Uh-huh. And what about the platform? Yes, ese es el que vio hace poco, ¿tú? No, en la plataforma eh, le pregunto yo cómo le va. Ah, pues eh, tuve, he tenido un problema en la sección, en la sección 1 creo que tuve un problema. Ok, veámoslo para que no quede ahí el problema y gane la nota completa. Veamos, veamos, Carlos, un second. Oh, sí, también en, en la unidad 2 hay una que creo que más o menos esa, sé cuál es la que... Esa, esa, la, esa la intenté como cinco veces y, y no, nunca me dio correcto. Okay. Yo creo que, creo que es una palabra, creo que no, no la estoy poniendo, pero no, no, no la he hallado sí. por ahí. Es que lo que pasa es que estábamos viendo enough, ¿se acuerdan? Enough. Sí. Y ahí decía que había que poner enough en todas. Pero en la número dos creo que es, ahí no hay que poner enough porque no le va a funcionar, sino que hay que poner great. Great benefits and resources or something, it says. Déjenme buscárselo para, para que lo vea. Y, y si puede buscarlo usted también para que de una vez lo, lo, lo corrija, porque no es que no ha comprendido el tema, sino que es una situación de la plataforma. No, teacher, no es esa, es la de la que lleva la palabra or. La que lleva la palabra or. Eh, veamos. ¿En qué tarea es? Es en la. Ahorita le digo, teacher. Ajá. En la 2.14, no. Ahorita le digo que estoy ingresando. Ajá, es la número 2 de la 2.11. Sí. Vamos a ver ahí. Ajá, la que dice our products. Ajá, esa es la que no. Ajá, esa tendría que, tendría que decir así. Ya le voy a poner más o menos cómo es. A ver, se lo voy a escribir aquí. Bueno, 
Ok, ahorita se lo paso acá. Es que necesito preguntarte si tú sabes algo de la licenciada desde el castillo. Así Entonces, tendría que ser, mire. ¿Qué pasó? No te ahorita te chamo, pero... Ajá. Tendría que en vez de... Es la de... Es la... En la, en la que fallé, teacher, es en la sección 211. Ajá. Ajá, es la que es la número, no, la number four. Number four. Ajá, okay. que es la de, de marketing, department, Hassan. Hasn't. Has created. 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 Acuérdese que ahí, ahí es este, ahí es eh, presente perfecto. Ajá, Entonces, es. es. Y di, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. ¿Y, de, ¿Y de ahí? Eh, enough, enough interest. Enough interest. Sí, te eché, pero así le he puesto y no me... Mm, pro, podría ser... Podría ser el apóstrofe. Entonces, okay. ajá, eso le dio problema a varios que eh, no les agarraba el apóstrofe y lo tomaba como malo, entonces lo voy a poner acá. A ver si poniéndolo así le agarra. Que es por el apóstrofe que a veces no da. A ver, así. Pruebe copy paste. Ok, teacher, ahorita. Uh -huh. No, teacher, no me la agarra. No se lo agarra tampoco. No. ¿Y si comparte su pantalla? Ok, teacher. Está compartiendo, teacher. No, no, no aparece todavía. Tengo que compartir eh, donde dice pantalla, va, teacher. Exactly. Puede ser, si lo tiene en inglés, es share screen. Ah, pero sí. Si permitir. lo tiene en español, es compartir. No me tiro la opción, teacher. No la deja, ¿verdad? Vaya, vale, entonces eh, voy a tratar de compartírsela yo y lo hacemos. Okay, la 2.11 era, ¿verdad? Ok, here we are. Acá. Lo voy a hacer, lo voy a volver a escribir. Bye. En la number four tendría que ser uh, the marketing, the marketing department has an no va a dar así solo esa ¿Qué te pasa? 
Ya lo logró. Todavía no. Ahorita, ahorita la estoy escribiendo, teacher. Ajá. Hay que fijarse en los espacios, en la mayúscula, en que vaya bien cada letra. Pero. Y no le dio con copia y pega para ver si le salía. Ya la volví a escribir y no, teacher. No le sale. La voy a, me voy a conectar de mañana, me conecto de la laptop, teacher, y la le doy copia y pega. Ah, ok. Ah, ah, y, si se la, y si se la mando en el, en el WhatsApp, ahí se la voy sí. a mandar. Okay, ahí teacher, sí pero... va a poder hacerlo en copia y pega. Vamos a ver aquí. Ah. A ver. Igual teacher, igual teacher, aquí ya lo puse en el blog de notas también, lo copié y de un solo lo voy a pasar a la laptop. Ah, va. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya. Y, y con la de la unidad 1, ¿cuál fue la que, la que le faltó? Porque me sale con 88. Sí, teacher, la, la primera, pero eh, voy a ver si sábado le dedico a armarlas así en papel y la voy a pasar. Bye. Porque creo que en algunas palabras me he confundido, pero la voy a lograr armar. Ok, no hay problema. Y cualquier cosa nos pregunta ahí en el chat, ¿verdad? Ok, teacher, muchas gracias. Bueno, con gusto. Then have a very good evening and see you tomorrow, all right? Ok, teacher, y mañana no voy a poder asistir. How come? Sí, teacher, tengo un compromiso bien fuerte. Tengo que ir al aeropuerto y, y no voy a poder. Ok, ni, ni se puede conectar como oyente. Es que voy a ir manejando, acaba la hora que, que ajá, vamos a ir a traer a nuestro hijo y, y, y pues ah, voy a andar okay. manejando. Ok, sí, bueno, está bien. Y si regresa todavía a tiempo, pues entre. Sí, sí, uh -huh. Si me puedo conectar como oyente, pues me conecto. Teacher. Sí, claro, trate, intente, porque el score attendance es bastante importante. Entonces, okay, para sí, sí. que le cuente, porque si no le va a quedar ahí que no asistió. No, no. Exactamente, y no le va a contar los minutos, ¿verdad? Y 120 ah, okay. es bastante, es bastante en, la, en, en el porcentaje, ¿verdad? 120 minutos. Ok, trate, trate, okay. por favor. Bueno, okay, entonces, okay. have a very good night and take a good rest. See you Monday then, right? Thank you, teacher. All right, bye, bye.